So one of the fundamental skills for any barista is being able to calibrate a grinder. It's whether you're a home enthusiast or you work in a coffee shop, you really need to be able to master this skill. You may have an espresso machine at home or it may be something you've just invested in and being able to calibrate a grinder to that machine is going to allow you to get so much more enjoyment out of the espresso you're making. Think of your favourite coffee shop. Before they open their doors on a day-to-day -day basis, they will go through the process we're going to go through now to make sure the coffee is tasting the best it can. It's a simple concept, but in practice, there's a lot going on, so it gets a little bit more complex. But basically, we want to use the grind setting to control the flow rate of water through the coffee bed. If our grind setting's too coarse, the water flushes through much too quickly and we don't pick up or dissolve enough solids into the coffee and it tastes under extracted. On the other hand, if the grind setting's too fine, we have a very, very slow flow rate through the coffee bed and we pick up over extracted tones. And typically, we're aiming for an extraction time of around 25 to 30 seconds for most coffees. So you use your grinder to control the flow of water through the coffee bed. And before we start, there's a few things I need to mention because you need to be aware of. The first is you need to use rested coffee. So coffee that's about seven to 10 days after roasting will be the best type of coffee to use. If it's too close to its roast date, it's got too much carbon dioxide gas in the beans and you'll get an inconsistent and difficult to use result on your machine. We're also going to be using a set of scales, uh, digital scales, and we're going to be weighing the coffee dose, so the amount of grounds that we use. We're also going to be weighing the resulting espresso. Uh, these scales have got a timer in. If you don't have a timer or there's no time on your machine, you're also going to need something to time the shot with as well. You also need to give yourself a little bit of space and time to work through this process. Don't put yourself under pressure. Don't try and do it in a very short time frame. Give yourself space to work. Sometimes there's a lot of button pressing going on. You're tearing scales, you're starting timers, you're starting shots, and it can feel a little bit clumsy. So I kind of encourage you to just work through it methodically one step at a time and the muscle memory will settle in and it'll feel a lot more comfortable. My final point is the parameters I'm using, particularly the, the amount of coffee I'm using, is appropriate for this machine. We need to make adjustments for the machine that you're using. The process itself is repetitive. We are going to get a set, an accurately weighed dose of coffee from the grinder. We're going to distribute and tamp it consistently. We're going to extract an espresso to a set weight each time. And then we're going to look at the extraction time and we're going to reflect on that. If the extraction time is too quick, we need a finer grind. If the extraction time is too slow, we need a coarser grind. So we'll make that adjustment on the grinder and then we'll repeat the process to see what the results are. And we'll carry on repeating that process until we get the desired results. Mm -hmm.